mama on the road again. And on this week's episode of Top Jug, Liam throws a can, Duncan unwraps a cable, and Warren gets his hand slapped. to Duncan's house for the second leg. Currently sitting on the M6. When it's not the M25, it's the M6. The joys of being a musician. Eventually, however, the band rendezvoused at Duncan's house and set off on the road, only to discuss the appalling viewing figures yeah. of our last video. Yeah. I'm sure we'll find something. Oh, we can put all this footage together. I mean, it's going to be like, oh, hey, I'll tell you what, I'll film it now, I'm shall I? Man. Here I am. Hello, Liam. We're filming. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, this oh well, hello. Welcome oh. to the Top oh. Jug Conference Center, <laughs> where we are designing a new show for our fans around the world. We're just deciding for everybody, aren't we, guys, what, what we're going to do. Yeah, so Ideas and things. A gig that you might enjoy. That's Dunk was saying like... that the response on Facebook was incredibly underwhelming and a little bit of a letdown there. Uh, you let us down. <laughs> You've let us down. A load, load of miseries, really. We'll work through. That's how I'd, I'd sum it up. Yeah. Well, I don't know, I, I don't think... I, I'd would, say I'm yeah, going off you as an audience misery, altogether. <laughs> we need to pick a gig that's going to share us in full misery mode. Those that are trying to do a bit of a quiz geographically, mm. as you can see, it's throwing it down with rain, so you know we're heading north. Yeah. Where we are. You could have let me eat there. <laughs> I could have done. Dunk doesn't you let me eat. There. Dunk doesn't do food. You know, do you or sleep. You know, it's some people having their contract, like in theatre and whatever, they have to keep a certain dress size. Yeah. I've got one in my Jake leg contract that I can't go above ten and a half stone. <laughs> oh. And there's regular weighings. I have to strip naked in Duncan's house. <laughs> and we check my, my weight. If I'm ever over, I get a month in the sin bin. That's why you keep giving food to me. That's it. Ah, and I keep putting the weight on for you. He looks really nice as well, Doug. Beneath that orange jumper, there's just there's no heart. He doesn't even need glasses, he just wears them to make him seem more vulnerable. <laughs> Laughing at your own jokes. <laughs> it's not good. It's not good. We <laughs> become one. <laughs> if one of us laughs at another's joke, that counts as laughing well, at Because we are just a unit. <laughs> spend so much time together. We are Jake. We are Jake together. We are Jake. Here's Jake. The Jake. Peg. Jake the Peg. Jake the peg. <laughs> so I left the house at two o'clock. It's almost seven o'clock. This man here, or should I say, this monster, <laughs> still not allow me to eat anything. Four or five services, would you say, man yeah. in the box? I think I can. And each t each time he went. Next one, Liam. Next one. I'll let you eat. Honestly, that you don't li you won't like that one. Now we're on the M bloody sixty, and there's no services in sight. Fix. <laughs> Help us! <laughs> it's all right, mate. <laughs> we'll go to Mackie D's after the gig without him. If we make it that far, when we get back to his house, I'll drive us to a twenty-four hour curry house. I'm going to eat his kitchen dry. I thought you were going to say you're going to eat his kids then. I'm going to eat his kids. <laughs> I'm going to start start with the smallest and build my way up. <laughs> That's his wife. That's his wife. <laughs> Eventually, however, Duncan had a change of heart and decided to let the band eat something. We're going in. Yes. Let's go in. Yes. Insert proper. your car. Let's do it proper, shall we? Yeah. We're Let's going to all sit, proper, sit down here. Yeah. Classy. I'm so hungry. That Duncan only agreed to stop at Mackie D's because I said I wouldn't play if he didn't. It's come to that. Things I have to put up with. Mm -hmm. Nicely decorated car. Hello. Oh, how pretty. Hello. 
You're going to be famous. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> so are you. Is that enough food for one? Um, we're going to find out. I'm going to get my little place in the corner here. Mm. I'm going to get started. The wrap or the burger? I think you start with the, anything you want. Have one chip. One chip. That's your fourth chip. What are you going to start with then? Burger or wrap? I'm at four. I'm going to go wrap. Okay, start with your wrap. In you go. Yeah. Two. That's a bit skanky, isn't it? Mm. Oh, you're tucking in. Oh, I fell for dip. There you go. I'm doing all right. I feel all right. The full me. Hey. No. Yeah. Yeah, I'm one of them. There you go. In for a penny, in for a pound. Well, hello. <laughs> Your meal looks decidedly small, Duncan. Remind me you got two burgers, two portions of chips, <laughs> a side and two drinks. Is that what you've ordered? You can watch it when you watch the video. <laughs> the video of you eating your food. Mm-hmm. It's this what the viewers want to see. No. See fingers <laughs> on my finger. <laughs> Saving that to last. Right. Let's go in for the burger. Oh, straight into that, you get it. <laughs> it's messy. Oh. You're winning, Liam. You get in there. This is the most difficult bit. Mm. <laughs> I've got about half a thing of chips left. I'm starting to feel it a bit. We just want you to know the whole band, well, both of us, <laughs> yeah. we're right behind him, aren't we, Doug? Oh, yeah. Fully supportive. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Couldn't the people at home sponsor me? Mm. <laughs> I'm not That's it. This is the moment. This is the final item. Down it goes. Right. Let's hope that you don't, you don't spray purple vomit all around the room at the gig today. Vomiting through your harmonicas? You know, just as you said that, <laughs> well, I had, it came back. I had that, you know that like, the bombs coming. Have <laughs> you seen anyone be sick whilst having a harmonica in their mouth? Why themed up at the it's... left and right corner? <laughs> I've basically just got hand sanitizer and rubbed it into my eyeball. That's um, fantastic. Our American... intentionally, obviously. Is that why they've gone completely <laughs> red? They have a little bit, yeah. The band then performed a concert. However, for health and safety reasons, footage cannot be showed of this event. That's me inside on the telly at the garage that are never open when you want a hot drink at night. It's Friday night. It's so dark that I can't even see you guys really. Oh! There he is. Weighing up all the different options for food. Yeah. The, I think there's McDonald's. 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 Um, McDonald's as well. Yeah. I'm just desperate for fluids. <laughs> fluids. Um, there's a hospital in Stoke. Yeah, I, I need a drip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Put me on a saline drip. That should sort yeah. me out. The band then found a late night diner and Liam decided to play a game. Down. 10, two and a half. 12 foot, maybe. And what are the odds? Um, millions to one. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh. It's, this is one foot on the. Yeah, like a dart player. I'd love to get in Sectan now, I'm much higher. I needed it. There you go. Three in the morning, and I'm back at Dunk's house. Liam's gone to bed. Dunk's gone to bed. I'm just waiting around. And this little psycho fella starts having a go at everything. You. You. Anyway, have a good time. Night, night. Having been evicted from the north many years ago, Warren decides to go home. I'm up in Warrington in Cheshire. Just doing the journey uh, up north to do some gigs in Cumbria. I thought I'd take a trip to where I used to live because this is where my musical journey started. That's basically where, if you can see behind me, where the journey started. 
20 odd years ago. Number two, Berwick Close. They should have hauntings of banjo players and guitarists coming out of there. They love a beautiful service station. I'm just looking around and, by Jove, it's Billy Bedlam. Yeah. <laughs> Meet Richard Slater, the biggest horn in the world. Biggest cap. <laughs> Rich is playing with us tonight, uh, and uh, but you never find many musicians in these parts anymore. Are you Alex Clark? Five pound seventy for a sandwich and a drink. That's definitely Alex Clark. We know it's Alex Clark. She's moaning. <laughs> oh, oh well. See you, Alex. Nice meeting you. Can I have your autograph? No. Bye. What? He's filming me again. Two hours away. How does that make you feel? Thank you. We're used to it, aren't we, Rich? These long, long journeys. Long way. Long way. Cheer up, Sir Petal. I love jazz. <laughs> you don't. Meanwhile, in Cumbria, Liam is serenading to Northern folk. So, we are at the Cape Gate Theatre in Cockermouth, two, and Liam one, is just sound checking. Two, we are at this you lovely theatre. You can shake it, you can break it, you can hang it on the wall, throw it out the window, catch fruit balls. You Hopefully can shake we'll it, you can break it, you can in. hang it on the wall, throw it out the window, catch fruit balls, have jelly on my roll. Pray to mama, don't you let it fall. It was at this point, Warren and Liam decided to go on holiday. But Dunk was having none of it and called them home. Hello? Warren? Can you hear me? Are you still in Spain? Can you get back quick because we've got gigs? Hello? Hello? But not until Saturday. Well, I travelled in mine inch travel Down in the valley will harm travelling on Well, now I'm just a lonely and a lonesome traveller Well, I'm just a lonely and a lonesome traveller Well, I'm just a lonely and a lonesome traveller I'm travelling on Here we are, back in the UK Duncan has called us home he said, return urgently. There are Jake Leg jug shows to be done. So Warren dashed home as quick as he could. And now on BBC One, we go over to Sir David Attenborough for tonight's special musician's edition of Blue Planet. This here is a new species of musician, not previously saw in any other part of the world. It's called a trombonist. And this is the bit of the night that everybody loves most. This is what we do it for. This is what we live for, isn't it, Dunk? This is it. This is the dream. A special time, this. This is it, is it? This is it, Liam. Is this it? We're living the dream. You know what I mean? This is it. No. Just I a... thought there was more. No. This is, is the... this it? The Strokes. Oh. Talking about that, how's your CD doing? One that you're doing for the Stroke Association. Tell, Tell the audience at home. Uh, it's my own blues band, and it's an album in memory of my dad. And every single penny 
uh, raise from sales will go to the Stroke Association in his memory. Check it out. Liam Moore Band Shine. And after no sleep at all, the band got back on the road. Warren arrives first for a change. Good morning, everybody. It is Sunday morning uh, at 11 o'clock. I've just done a two and a half hour drive. Uh, I've come on my own because uh, Duncan and Liam are in a different car. I'm going to another gig after this. But I am here at the world famous, world famous Concord Club in Eastleigh near Portsmouth. Uh, where the Jake Leg Jug Band will be playing this afternoon. I say it's uh, it's a long journey down. Last night we did a gig in Old, which is a village called Old. Uh, everybody wasn't old, but the village is called Old in Northampton. It's an old village, but just old, but not old, old, old. Uh, we are put up by Kevin and his wife, uh, lovely people, and uh, they deserve a mention. Uh, and here we are now. So we're going to be jugger-lugging this afternoon we'll give you uh, give you a little tour of the loading today shall we here they come it's the Jayland Jug Band Hello. what did you say have I done a risk assessment he's been climbing the railings naughty boy don't do that at home never again no. Is this because you can't climb the walls? <laughs> uh, yeah, I've been driving, no, but you've been driving me up the walls. Well, this is posh, then. isn't it? We're in a lodge. It's not often we get to uh, play at a venue that first of all has a brown sign telling you where it is. Yeah. But also has its own Wikipedia page. Yeah. Usually when we play a place with a brown sign, it was white at one point <laughs> and it's just sort of gone a bit minging. <laughs> We're going to film the load in today. Oh, oh okay. Come on, come on. So Warren set about... Yeah. Helping Duncan position his car. Come on, come on. We're going there. Come on, there. there. Come on, you. There, there, there. A bit more, bit more, bit more. Stop! It's a false start because Duncan has to put his eyeballs in. Once he's applied his contact lenses, he goes about business by rubbing hand sanitizer into his eyeball. You'll meet the dog, Candy. She'll knock you flying, but she's lovely. Hello, beautiful. Say hello to the camera. It was at this time, Duncan and Liam decided to steal a grand piano. Too heavy. Is too it heavy, is. it is too heavy. Too big. What is not moving? Your corners. <laughs> Could I point something out? Do you want me to do it? That ain't going to fit in the car. <laughs> Set up and ready for the gig. I'll show you the view from the best seat in the house. There you go. Oh, that's Christian. He's playing piano. Good day. Going for a wee. Welcome to the stage. And here we have none other than Gabriel Garrett. Hello, Gabe. How are you? Listen, you're... exceptionally well always for seeing the wonderful Mr. Warren. Thank you. Listen, I was thinking, because you're, you're a great trumpet player, that's why we book you, we love how you play. Uh, I was listening to that the other day to some kids walking home from school, and they don't have a clue these days who Neil Armstrong is, and I think it's terrible that they don't know who Neil Armstrong is, nor what trumpet he played. No, because he, the, trouble with, the trouble with Neil is that he lost it when he went on the moon. <laughs> You're not a very trumpet. good trumpet player, is he? He couldn't never got his chops back after that experience. 
Then, after a long gig, the band had to leave rather quick because Whitney Houston was arriving. Meanwhile, we've finished our gig, Liam, and Whitney Houston tribute oh, yeah, is coming. She might just have a bit more gear than us. I'm not saying there's a lot of gear. But there definitely is a lot of gear. This is our gear. This is. Whitney's, more of Whitney's gear. Whitney has a lot of gear and a massive crew. Whereas I have my assistant. Here's my man Friday. <laughs> and now public service announcement for viewers who may be affected by the contents of tonight's program. Just head off to bed. Nice night. Oh. Hi. Are you lonely? Are you a jug band fan? Longing for attention. The people and friends do not understand you for your strange musical habits and interests. Does your wife think you're weird because suddenly you start playing on household appliances? <laughs> then call us now on the number across the bottom of the screen and see what we can do for you. Jug Band Anonymous. Call now. And on that bombshell, we bid you good night.